Hello students, often we hear people say, I think I ate something unusual that led to food poisoning. So what actually is food poisoning? In today's session, we will learn about food poisoning. Well, people call it food poisoning while medical community calls it food bone illness. We actually are not being poisoned by food but are infected by something that lives on food. Must be wondering what lives on food that makes it infectious resulting in food poisoning? Yes, you must be thinking it's something which is invisible. They are microorganisms that we cannot see through our naked eyes and thus we end up eating food that's infected or poisoned by microbes. There are number of microbes that thrive on the food that we consume and they are bacteria, viruses, molds and allergens. They may range from well-known E. coli and Salmonella to the formless known Campylobacter, Toxoplasm, Listeria and C. perfringens. But how is the food poisoned? Who adds these microbes? Let us find out how the food is poisoned. Most often food gets poisoned when it is mishandled left uncovered for too long, not cooked properly, not refrigerated properly or when handled by a person who did not wash their hands. Well then, which are the food items that get easily poisoned or infected? Food items most commonly associated with food poisoning include eggs, fish, milk, meat, meat products, dairy products, rice, nuts, etc. as their self life is low. How do you say that we are suffering from food poisoning? First sign of food poisoning is frequent vomiting, diarrhea and dehydration. Even before we experience an abdominal pain. Fever is also a sign of food poisoning. Every contaminant has an ideal condition and they vary from bacteria to virus. Well, some of the food bone illness can strike days or weeks after exposure. It takes a while for organism to replicate in our body and strike. This period is called incubation period. The most common pathogens like C. perfringens, Salmonella and Norovirus have short incubation period ranging between 6 to 72 hours. All three can cause diarrhea while Salmonella and Norovirus can also cause vomiting. E. coli and Campylobacter incubate for several days before striking and both results in severe diarrhea. Toxoplasm can incubate for weeks and produce no symptoms at all while Listeria can live in our body for 3 to 70 days before showing flu-like symptoms. Some cases of food poisoning are even mistaken for flu because they do not remember when they ate any infected food. These microorganisms cause diarrhea because they are inhibiting our body from absorbing nutrients and water or causing more water to be added into the stools. Most food bone illness go away on their own and do not have lasting effect. 
and are not life threatening if there is no much dehydration. However, some microbes like E. coli O157.H7 causes kidney failure and leads to death. Deadly, right? But not all microbes are life taking and hence most of the times the foot bone diseases can be cured by simple homemade remedies. Drinking ginger boy tea or lemon water gives you a great relief. Consumption of apple vinegar mixed with fresh water, honey also helps to a great extent. However, on serious conditions, you are recommended to consult a doctor. Remember to drink plenty of water to prevent dehydration and also avoid any medications without the consult of doctor. So, food poisoning is not a serious illness. However, we should be careful so that the food poisoning instances do not happen. Avoid eating uncovered food from roadsides or any other place. It is our responsibility to take care of our body. As the famous quote goes, prevention is better than cure, it is important to always ensure that the food is well cooked for our safety. Thank you.